different suspension locations and how that suspensions are going to affect our overall vehicle performance in driving condition that we have already seen. So in today's lecture we will see how that suspensions are going to affect while uh, driving our vehicle in different road condition and in different manuals. So in today's lecture we will uh, cover active suspension system, semi-active suspension system and how these suspension systems are differ from each other. So let us begin with active suspension system. So what do you mean by active suspension system? So we can say that to improve overall performance of the system, several developments are, are going to incorporate nowadays to uh, change the overall riding conditions. So for that we can say that active components, several active components are incorporated in our vehicles to reduce the vertical force exerted by the different road conditions. So we can say that the in active suspension system several different components are incorporated and we can say that there are several types of active suspension system. First is the pure active suspension system in which several actuators are there which can actuate our overall suspension system. Second is the adaptive suspension system in which sockets of firmness that can match our road surface with the help of cameras and sensors. And the third one is the semi-active suspension system which can detect the bumps and according to that bump and road condition that will signal to our suspension to adjust accordingly. So here one animation is there in which you can see that the active suspension is mounted in right hand side uh, figure and uh, in left hand side figure you will see that there is no active suspension system is there and you can clearly see that there are fast difference while driving our car in such kind of uh, road surfaces. Moving further, here one video is there in which you can we will see that how different uh, road condition that are going to affect our system. And uh, this is a video of uh, Audi system that will help uh, to understand the different manuals. Here several components, we have already discussed that uh, there are several components that we have to include in our vehicle to perform such tasks. So here several components are given uh, in which we will find a separate batteries are there, different sensors are there. Also form that is there, DC to AC converter is there, 12 volt battery is there. So several sensors and cameras are going to be in our such kind of system in which active suspension or semi-active suspension system has been incorporated. So controllers are there, several controllers, individual motors uh, for four tires we have individual motors for front two wheels and rear two wheels. So individual controllers and motors uh, has been there. So here different conditions has been performed by this animation in which we can see that the roll reduction. So how that roll is going to reduce? So first of all there are several cameras and sensors are there. So according to the signals coming from the sensors and cameras it can adjust my overall suspension system. So uh, from these rolling has been reduced. Uh, also you can see that there are different road conditions like different patches are there even uh, uh, due to the rain condition the road surface is not uh, completely according to our comfort 
or so for that different sensors are there and according to sensors uh, given from that signal our suspension are going to be adjusted so here different characteristics uh, has been given moving further different tasks performed at road condition like signals are there so we can see that sudden braking and sudden acceleration is there and due to that acceleration and sudden braking pitch reduction has to be there for comfort riding so for that uh, again different braking and acceleration condition our suspension has to adjust itself to give us comfort ride also the rolling we have seen about roll center analysis and uh, we can say that uh, that roll center has to be nearer to our center of gravity so according to that roll center axis our cycle has to play that task very easily and give us comfortable ride okay so let us talk uh, uh, again about different drawbacks of our suspension system like active suspension system we have already uh, talked about different components so according to that we will find high cost also the mass of the apparatus is increasing also the maintenance is very high uh, let's say about actual so we need several actuating systems like hydraulic systems that we use so we can say that the hydraulic system that is incorporated in our vehicle so that is very again a difficult task also we have to maintain high pressure to suspend or to uh, actuate that system so again that is a big task next are sensors to monitor different road conditions we need different sensors and cameras so again these are very bulky systems and that we have to put in our vehicle for active or semi active suspension system also electromagnetic recuperative so in which we will see that the individual tires are incorporated with electromagnetic motors that can uh, give that can take controls from their controllers and according to that the speed uh, is increasing and so on so electronic electromagnetic motors are there so we have such huge amount of electrical system that we that can easily give us fast response as well as uh, regeneration of that power by using secondary batteries so all the performance are going to be improved but with several drawbacks moving further let us say about the semi active suspension system so we can say that the semi active suspension system that controls the damping force of that shock absorber also semi active suspension uh, in our commercial vehicle that is based on the adjust uh, adjustability of the damping characteristics so we have a uh, heavy or commercial vehicle that can also has adjustable damping characteristics that will be very helpful while uh, taking load moving further semi active suspensions uh, are going to implemented by several types of control methodology so we have different controls that can control our semi active suspension system again there is a video of semi active suspension system that how that system are going to incorporate in our off road vehicle and how that is going to be give us very good performance characteristics so here off road vehicle is there in which you will find several other components like controllers are there uh, spring or we can say the adjustments are there so in video you can see that there are number of adjustment in very several time components so we can say that the reaction time is very less due to that controller or we can say that effective controllers so uh, by taking such controllers we will find such kind of performance and you will find not just the ride very smooth ride even you are in off road conditions so these are about active suspensions and semi active suspension system so that is all for today thank you